Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at Goldstein Park. Brian Natto with you on a big Saturday here in Hollandale Beach. We've got 11 races for you. It's Travers Day as well. The crowd's bustling. We've got the featured Benny the Bull right here as Comedy Town looks to make it three in a row on the main track for Safi Joseph Jr. We've got a rainbow that's up estimated $100,000. That's kicking off a little bit later in race six. And, of course, we've got Pete Aiello upstairs as well. And he'll run you through the scratches in course conditions. Partly cloudy skies today. Temperatures in the mid 80s. The main track fast. The Tapita track fast. And no turf racing scheduled today. In race one, scratch number four, Wicked Ice. Racing at Goldstream. In the middle, Eliana gets the first call, and Manessis riding her for the early advantage from Practical Veil, who's away to challenge in second three times, comes away in the top flight, black colors on the outside. One of her is Happy Beach, widest of all is Vanishing Wish. Next at the rail, St. Joe Jet, followed by Queen Tatiana and Cool Tricks, and the one lagging well back early is Moonlight Vision. To the far turn they go with rail position and the lead. Iliana leads by an X. Three wide, three times. Two path, practical veil. Armeo on the march here with the race favorite St. Joe Jet far outside its happy beach. Trying to run home from the back is Moonlight Vision as they race five sixteenths from home. The leader is Iliana by an X. Up between horses, practical veil. Three wide, three times. Four wide, say, is uh, Moon uh, on the outside happy beach looking for room. Moonlight Vision, they're on their way home. Iliana has the lead three times. Takes aim second, angle off cover. Moonlight Vision. Vision with a shot from third. Eighth of a mile to go. Three times. Rallies forward to take the lead now. Down the center, Moonlight Vision tries to get into second, but Jonathan Acasio for Averill and Worth three times wins. Up for second is Moonlight Vision. Back to third is Ileana. Then Cool Tricks in 105 flat. On the far outside, wider than a mile was quick into stride. Mustang Bucks holds down the rail into the top flight. Away in third while ridden up is Giddy Up Baby alongside Nashville Slough. Saving ground toward the rail is Eleanor Rigby, the early trailer Del Rosario. Wider than a mile is up and around to take the advantage from Mustang Bucks who holds inside position in second. These two have gone two and a half better than Giddy Up Baby who strides into third while three wide. Eleanor Rigby saves ground toward the rail. Then back to Nashville Slough, and the trailer is the late-running Del Rosario. She'll have to be late running as she's last a long way behind a 24-1 opening quarter. Wider than a mile is fighting Edgar Zayas pretty badly here. He's trying to get her to relax. She wants none of that. At the rail, Mustang Bucks is up within a neck in second. Giddy Up Baby is three wide third. Eleanor Rigby is next. Now Luca Panici, he's keeping Nashville Slough way out in the center here and is on the improve slightly and still a long way behind is Del Rosario. They went the half in 48 and 3. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Skyler Spanabel has secured a rail run for Mustang Bucks, who's now up to take the lead. Nashville Slough continues to give up a ton of ground, but is up into second. Wider than a mile has called it an afternoon. Backpedaling to second last. Meanwhile, from last, Del Rosario's underway. They reach the top of the stretch a quarter of a mile from home. Del Rosario circling horses and on the move as Nashville Slough just took the lead. Three quarters, 114 flat inside. Mustang Bucks cuts the corner in the middle. Nashville Slough down the center. It's Del Rosario in from between Giddy Up Baby. They come past the eighth pole. The leader is still Nashville Slough on the far outside. Del Rosario surging forward in between Giddy Up Baby to the wire. Del Rosario's getting up. Del Rosario and Melvis Gonzalez from last to first. Close for second. Nashville Slough or Giddy Up Baby. Then Mustang Bucks in 144 and three. Derby 
Grammy winner, known agenda. Whether you're new to the world of horse racing or a seasoned professional, we have something for everyone here at the National Museum of Racing and Hall of Fame. From fine art to legendary artifacts, our mission is to preserve and promote the history of thoroughbred racing in America and honor the sport's most accomplished participants. Open year-round and located on Union Avenue, right across from Saratoga Racecourse, adding to the rich history surrounding the oldest racetrack in America. Visit racingmuseum.org. They're up. Magic Soul comes out firing toward the rail on the far outside. Super Sunshine gets going in a hurry. Romping Runner part of the early vanguard, and Dr. Perry would like to be part of the early vanguard, but he's tightened up for racing room. He now sits in fourth. Up to the outside at 16 cigarettes, then urge to merge, and Mayhem in the Palace is last. Half a mile away, Super Sunshine almost got to the rail. Magic Soul is at the rail. Third is a Sir Banana Brian, Dr. Perry on a rebid while fourth. Urge to merge is in the two-path, three-wide romping runner, four-wide, 16 cigarettes, and Mayhem in the Palace is last. Cipriano Gill and Super Sunshine the target. They arrive at the top of the stretch in front by a length with a wall of pursuers. Dr. Perry's the gray trying to get through far outside Mayhem in the Palace. Off cover, urge to merge. They're in the drive. Here comes Dr. Perry up to challenge Super Sunshine. Urge to merge. Try to pick up the embattled duo with an eighth of a mile to go. Inside, Super Sunshine. Outside, Dr. Perry. Launching late, urge to merge. Super Sunshine or Dr. Perry. Here's the line. Photo! No shot I'm calling that. Dr. Perry outside, inside, Super Sunshine. What I can tell you is urge to merge is third. 57 and 3. From between horses, Simply Striking gets the first call and tries to establish the pace from Parallel, who comes away in the top flight to race in second. Let's go, Coco, get started on the outside third. Back to fourth, Ashima, the early trailer, clearly copper. In the run to the first turn, they have Simply Striking as the target under Jose Morelos, a length and a half better than Let's Go Coco second. Parallel races in third, outside fourth, Ashima, still at the back, clearly copper. They complete the opening quarter with Simply Striking, posting that panel in 24 seconds flat. She's into the backstretch, on top by a comfortable two. Let's go Coco, under a loose rein from Edwin G in second. Parallel is together with Ashima third and fourth, and encouraged at the back, Jaramillo keeping after clearly Copper to keep pace. She's last of the five as the betting favorite, with four and a half furlongs to run. It's been simply striking from the word go. She's still there a length and a quarter. From Let's Go Coco second, Parallel races in third. Outside of Shima and still the trailer is clearly copper. There's been no change at all in the plot here through a 47 and four half mile. With the advantage, simply striking by two now. Second is Let's Go Coco, Parallel is at the rail in third. On from fourth is Shima and still at the back and still hard ridden is clearly copper. They round the far turn and approach the top of the stretch, simply striking in a bid to make all. She has it a length and a half parallel, and Zayas tip off cover to try to bridge the gap. Let's go, Coco now races into third. Outside fourth is Ashima, and they're at the top of the stretch. Simply striking, still going. Simply striking has the lead. From the outside parallel, up the rail, clearly copper, down the center, let's go, Coco. And now they're swallowing up, simply striking, down the center, let's go, Coco, at the rail, clearly copper, clearly copper shooting through. Clearly Copper got there. Clearly Copper wins. It's close for the Miners and 142 and 1. Claw Woman, a step slow to break. 
Starship Sunrise wins the break, but Capiche has something to say about that, and she's striding forward to take the lead. Capiche to the top. Starship Sunrise is away in second. Smart Jenny tightened up for racing room. By Duke's going to tap it, and Summer Gold's on the far outside. White Claw Woman is down toward the rail. Evanora sequestered between horses, and the trailer is follow the Fed. To the far turn they go. The leader is Capiche with rail position and a neck advantage. Starship Sunrise up alongside second. Duke's going to tap it, is now third. Looking for room is Evanora. She's got horse, but Zaya has no place to go yet. On her outside is Smart Jenny at the rail. White Claw Woman, three-run bolt coming around horses as they run to the top of the stretch. They're inside a quarter of a mile from home. Capiche is very game. Cuts the corner with the lead. From her outside, Starship Sunrise looking for room is Evanora. Far outside, it's three-run bolt. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Capiche is still finding here. Starship Sunrise still trying here. Outside, Evanora loose from the back. Follow the Fed to the wire. Capiche not to be caught. Capiche Gate to wire. Second is close. Either White Claw Woman or Evan Nora in 104 and 3. They're off. Good start. Cacique Aborio quick into stride. Reza's Rolex being sent forward. Icelander trying to hold ground from between horses. Into the top flight is Banneker. In fact, Banneker, he's wanting to lug in something fierce, but he's up to challenge for control. Reza's Rolex is alongside. From between, that's Icelander and getting started out wide, Shady World. Then Cacique Aborio and Roan is last. They make their way around the far turn now. The opening quarter complete with Reza's Rolex doing battle with Icelander. They're still heads apart. It's Reza's Rolex by ahead. Icelander alongside second. Shady World now races from third. A gap of three more to Banneker. Then comes Cacique Abario. Roan splitting horses and floating out insisting as they race for home. On the outside, it's Icelander giving this favorite all he wants. Reza's Rolex known to fight on and he's doing just that. Reza's Rolex, he's up for a fight. Icelander now back to second well clear of the others. Reza's Rolex is just in front. He pinned his ears and said, no, sir, to the second horse, Icelander. Reza's Rolex guts it out. Icelander was second. Roan ran third. Kasike Abario fourth in 56 and three. Good start for Light Forever down at the inside. Noble and Magical put into play early. Noble and Magical to the top. Sent through at the rail forever now. In between horses, Johnny No Time and out wide is to the max. After a good break, Light Forever is out sprinted at this stage. He works a length in front of Bold and Breezy, who's racing together with Bluff. Out the back is Sweet Lazarus. They race around to the far turn run, and Noble and Magical at a big price. He has the lead by two. Forever now is on the chase from second. From the outside, that's to the max now third. At the rail, Johnny No Time races in fourth. Bold and Breezy on the outside, fifth. And Light Forever in Bluff, still out the back, is Sweet Lazarus. They make their way to the top of the stretch, and they haven't got close to Noble and Magical. He's three and a half in front. Forever now, flat to the boards to try to bridge the gap second. 
Top of the lane, and Nobleman Magical still finding. He's working off the inside, but he can do that because he's way out in front. Forever now is second, well clear to the max in third. There's an eighth of a mile to go. You wouldn't know it by the way he's performed, but he's 30 to 1. He's Nobleman Magical, and he's running up the score late. Very impressive win from the son of Noble Bird. Nobleman Magical for Andy Williams. Second, Forever now. Third was to the max, and fourth was Bluff. Then Bold and Breezy in 111 and 3. Awful start for Ambushed, also slow and destroyed Orb Alpha and Heathcliff. Ridden hard from the rail, Immense Faith wants to mix it up early. Racing between horses is Frank's Mimi. Motivo is three wide. He's on the go. And the race favorite, Cryptoman, he comes away in fourth. Followed fifth by last U-turn, then Tis the Coast. Moving out the rail, it's Blue Slide Park. A length and a half in front of Tuttenham Mill. Four back to Grand Tower in front of Heathcliff. Then Orb Alpha and dial long distance to find Ambushed. The opening quarter was 23 seconds flat. They raced down the backstretch. Motivo and Sunny Leone working hard with Cryptoman and Hazelwood right alongside in second. Frank's Mimi is a joint third with immense faith toward the rail. And it's a gap of three to Blue Slide Park. He's racing together with last U-turn. Tis the Coast is way out the center. He's about eight lengths behind. Grand Tower is next. Then it's Heathcliff, five ahead of Orb Alpha. And now only two lengths to the trailer, Ambushed. They have half a mile to go. They've been at each other from the word go. The half mile was a wicked 46-2. and two. They're rolling here, and Hazelwood commits for home on race favorite Crypto Man, who strides clear to lead by two and a half from the back. Blue Slide Park is underway, was fifth. He's now fourth, now third, and charging to challenge. Trying to rally from the back is Tuttenham Mill in the red cap, then Grand Tower, and they're at the top of the stretch. The two favorites kick on. Here comes Blue Slide Park, boldly now on the outside, and he sweeps right by. Crypto Man did too much too soon. Frank's Mimi trying to go get him for a slice, but with an eighth of a mile to go, this one's over. It's Blue Slide Park and jockey Miguel Vasquez who bid this field a pleasant Saturday good afternoon. Blue Slide Park by as much as he wants. He's seven in front. Frank's Mimi rallies for second from Crypto Man. He saved third. Fourth was Tis the Coast, then Heathcliff, 140 and three. They're off. Excellent start for Black Fury, who heads off for the early lead and will try to clear some inside traffic from Sound of the Beast, who's driving through toward his inside. Out in the middle, it's Joe DiBaggio. Lace up is away in early fourth in front of Morgan Point, and Avant Glory is last of all while out in the center. Field separated by two and a half lengths in the run to the half mile point. At the rail, Sound of the Beast, and the two path is Black Fury and three wide Joe DiBaggio. Four wide, Avant Glory, then back behind the speed, lace up, and at the rail, trailing is Morgan Point. Still only two and a half from first to last. They continue to scrum up front. 22 and two for the opening quarter. Here's a four wide sweep from Avant Glory. Sound of the Beast holds valuable rail position in between horses, Black Fury. Joe DiBaggio is three wide, two and a half to lace up. At the rail, it's Morgan Point, still playing. Plenty of hopes here. Who do you like here as they straighten for the drive? Sound of the Beast cuts the corner and still has the lead. From the outside, it's Avant Glory in the middle. Joe DiBaggio trying to run home down the center is Lace Up. There's an eighth of a mile to go. It's still Sound of the Beast. He's now kicked away under Sonny Leone. Avant Glory chasing him one more time, but Sound of the Beast with a winning lead, and he'll win it. Sound of the Beast by two. Second is Avant Glory. Third from last was Morgan Point. Fourth, Black Fury. 110 and one.
and they're off in the Benny the Bull Handicap. Good start for the favorite comedy town. Beat to the punch, though, by Loco Abario. In between horses is Big Martini, and here's this flashy speed of Vivir Con Alegria. Vivir Con Alegria sent to the top by Manessis. Loco Abario is second from Big Martini in third. The gray is Comedy Town. That's the race favorite in fourth. Classic car wash down toward the inside, second last, and way out in the center. Positive review is last of the six as they chase the speed of Vivir Con Alegria. Vivir Con Alegria to the half-mile point in front three parts of a length. Loco Abario is second from Big Martini, three wide for Trejo's third. Four wide, Comedy Town in the clear and on the improve. At the rail, it's classic car wash and positive review is last through a 22-4 and four opening quarter. Less than three-eighths of a mile to run in the Benny the Bull, and the leader now is Loco Abario. Comedy Town giving up ground within a neck of the advantage, though. At the rail, it's Vivir Con Alegria. Big Martini will need to do better than that. So is classic car wash, not kicking on at all as positive review they went 45 and one for the opening half mile it's the smile sprint winner comedy town who comes away with the lead for drayden van dyke he's an eighth of a mile from home and now two on top fighting back toward the inside is loco abario at the rail vivir con alegria final 16th of a mile comedy town driven out loco abario as game as he can possibly be but second best the benny the bull to comedy town he wins by almost two. Loco Abario fought the good fight for second. I think Vivir Con Alegria held on for a slice. He's in a show photo with Big Martini. 122 and three. And runners away. Air to the roar blew the start and was slow to start anyway. She's three lengths last. Good start in the middle for Check the Grade, who heads off for the early advantage. Moving to her now is no action up on the outside. Three wide. She's a raging Cajun. Four wide is Ideal Breeze. Then it's Drinks on Me ahead of Barbara. And Stone Cold last is Air to the Roar as the odds on choice. They have Check the Grade to catch. Melvis Gonzalez is bidding for a riding double. He has Check the Grade in front by a length and a quarter. She's a raging Cajun. Is dropped back to third as no action claims a clear second. Outside fourth and Ideal Breeze. Here's the favorite Air to the Roar. The gray is circum. Navigating the field under Edgar Zayas. Blue blinkers far outside. Less than a quarter of a mile to come. They're on their way home. Check the grade. Cuts the corner and tries to stave off a host of pursuers, including second choice, no action, and race favorite air to the roar. She's a raging Cajun is next. Final 16th of a mile. No action. Tries to reach. Check the grade. Down the center air to the roar is out of time. Check the grade still there. Check the grade wins. No action second. Air to the roar third. She's a raging Cajun fourth in 57 flat. That's a wrap on the 11 race Saturday car. We'll be back with you. We'll finish up another three-day race week here at beautiful Gulfstream Park. We've got nine of them for you. We'd love to see you out here.